deal with is everything stuffed into the socket wrench set. So here you can see all the stuff I have arrayed. I even had an old stray piece of weed in there. So I have to sort this out before I put the inserts in. This uh, that I've started to take them off the strips works pretty easy. You just twist it and it breaks off at one end but you want to cut the little nib off the other end because it makes it hard to put in if you don't. And you just line it up with the right little socket. There's 12. And you just push it in. That's all there is to it. Very simple to do. Very simple to do. Now at this point we've got all of the inserts in the standards here and we've got all of the ones into the metrics except that I have a couple left over. So what I've learned is that I am missing three different metric sizes and two different standard sizes of sockets. And that's another advantage to this set. It tells you what you need to go out and buy in terms of missing sockets. But it was that simple. This probably took me five minutes to do. So at this time I've learned that I've got two duplicates. I have a bunch of little cutoff pieces I need to throw out. I've got five sockets I need to buy, and these can simply be stored. They'll just cling right to the box here uh, until, I, until I get the others. They're strong magnets. Wow. They have some funny name like Neomibibium. All right, let's see how this works. Here's a uh, 13 millimeter bolt head and socket, and it certainly doesn't fall out. Here's an interesting feature. If you bang it, notice that it just bends over. It doesn't actually fall away. That's a pretty nice feature. Now here's a lag bolt that's about uh, 3 inches. And uh, this is a uh, 11 millimeter. And, and again, it takes a heck of a bang to even try and break this loose for some reason. I guess it's seated a little deeper. Got a lot of pluck strength. And I imagine if you're under a dock or something, this would be a great thing. You don't want that thing falling in the water. Now here's an 8-inch lag bolt. It's 4 inches across the knuckles. That's an 8-inch lag bolt. Look at that. Sure won't fall this way. That's incredible. Now it fell that way because this thing came out. Let's try it again. Alright, let's see where we go. So if you're gentle, it won't even disappear on you. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's amazing. If you knock it, what's it do? It tends to stay as long as there's a snug fit with the head. Here's a three quarter inch nut. Snaps right in there, that's for sure. And that's not going to go anywhere. No matter what you do, that's going to stay there. That's a good deal. Here's a three-quarter inch bolt. And see what it does? If, you, if it bends loose, it still stays, so you can retrieve the situation. That's, that's a smart arrangement. Okay. And if you want to remove your magnetic socket insert, just take a, a thing like a pencil or this tool here and pushes right out. Well, it takes a little bit of a push, but there you are. 